Okay, uh, another brief video on sketching the graph of a quadratic inequality, but now we can see the vertex right away. So remember what I said about the vertex. For the x value, you use the opposite. So the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. And this says we go down 1. So if we normally would have started here, uh, we now are going to shift over 3, down 1. And we also have to pay attention, are we going to use hollow or solid? So we look right here, since there's a solid line there, we're going to use a solid line here. Okay. Uh, and so now I choose two values to the left. Well, to the left is 2 and 1. To the right is 4 and 5. But remember, this is the vertex, so the axis of symmetry. So whatever values I put in for the x values for 1, it will have the same height as 5. And when I put in 2, it will have the same height as 4. So if we put a 1 in here, 1 subtract 3 squared, subtract 1. 1 subtract 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. 4 subtract 1 is 3. So if I put 1 in there, so that means, so at 1, I'm up here at 3. And at 5, I'm up here at 3. Then I'm going to put 2 in there. 2 subtract 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 subtract 1 is 0. So at both, when x is 2 and when y, I mean when x and is 2 and x is 4, they'll have a height of 0. And then we'll do the solid line. And then we still have the shading that we have to do. So remember what I showed you, and again, it's always a good idea. You could always pick a point inside and outside the parabola, test those points inside here, or kind of the simpler method, I think, is look at the y, ooh, the y-axis is going to be going clear up there like that. So it's going to cross, so if I extend this y-axis up, the parabola is going to go on the outside like that. All right, so this says y is less than or equal to. So if I put a dot right there on the y-axis, well, where do the y values on the y-axis get smaller? Well, they get smaller below. So then that's how I know to shade everywhere on the outside of that parabola. What that means for this solution set, any one of these infinite points doesn't matter which point you pick. Any one of these, if you choose, say, this point right here, that x and that y, if you substitute those x and y values into here, that will, that will be a true statement. That's what it means by the solution set. All right, that's it.